Hello, welcome to the 2016 Masters World in Las Vegas, Nevada. My name is Jim Barrett. I'm the guy on the left in the blue gi. Um, I'm a brown belt, lightweight, Master One, my first Master Worlds. Um, all right, here we go. I pulled guard, wrapped up, kind of a reverse de la Riva. Um, it's kind of hard to see, but on the other side, the guy is putting his knee in my face and kind of really quickly in this tournament woke me up. By the way, I had a bye. This is about a 60-man bracket. I had a bye, so this is technically the second round of the tournament, but first for me, and I believe first for my opponent. All right, I sit upside down, unwind, end up in an X guard. He falls, tries to get up. I trip him with my foot right here. And then I start wrapping up a toe hold. Um, I don't have a great grip though. And he's defending a little, pulling my arm. Um, I'm trying to secure a better grip. It's a little tricky to reset. So you'll see, I'm going to try to sit up to a reverse mount. And all the while making sure he doesn't hug me back with his legs and put me in like a 69. All right, got his foot. Wrapped it up. I got a good grip now. I wrap up his legs tight so he has no chance of grabbing me back with his legs. And I curl it up. Got the toe hold. These matches, by the way, were filmed by my father, who is not a professional cinematographer, so I do apologize for some of the some of the missed action. Thanks, man. Okay, here we go. Round two. Got a guy from uh, the uh, Jujutsu University, I believe. Okay, I pulled guard on him again. I always pull guard. I found that when I started pulling guard my match, it started to win. So I stopped with that. And I'm in a secure place where I know I can score too easily and get the match starting ahead. So, um, so I'm sitting up in like a... I got an underhook here. Maybe about to sit up to a, like a dog fight. Okay, I reach far, grab my legs inside, trying to do like a mermaid on him. But in the mermaid, I just start to sneak to the back instead. Sorry about that man walking in the way. All right, I just asked him out of the way. Okay, so. I'm halfway on the back now, halfway on the mount. Oh, my coach is yelling to mount, but I, uh, I'm taking my time here just to make sure I secure it right. Eventually go up to the top. Another thing you should know, I'm kind of a, a dirty bastard when I, when I fight. So here, here, here's a piece of that. As I take my lapel out and I wrap his head in it. I don't know. I just I get worked up and I make kind of morally ambiguous decisions sometimes while competing. See that I got his head in there. I usually reserve that for Shark Tanks and birthdays, but you know, this is Master World, so you got to be a little mean to keep the pressure on these guys. All right, sorry, I skipped ahead again. Still on the back. I got a choke grip, wrapping up the bow and arrow. I swear that's what's going on. Oh. Got him. Alright, here's the quarterfinal now. Um, I don't remember what school this guy's from, but I pulled guard right away, did a shin on shin, kick up his foot, start sneaking to the back a little bit, and like a crab ride. I jump in a hook and try to roll with it. It goes out of focus, sorry. Almost got us back. I got. Let's see, I think I get advantage for that. They give me advantage here for that whole little sequence. No, Jim, I'm not drunk. Sorry. Okay, thanks, Dad. Okay, so I pull guard again. Got a foot on him, keeping some distance, going for like a spider guard. He has a very strange base here. He's kind of like on his side already.
Yeah, he falls to his side. Um, and then he gets up. I try to jump. So, try to jump triangle here. Almost got some amount on it. We had to recover though. I had to bail and recover. But I'm doing like a... Doing like a... A shin... A, a knee shield here. And he... Thinks it's a good time to grab my leg. But he's at a really bad angle for a knee bar. And I get on top. Um, like you see my foot behind his head. I gotta... He's trying to leg lock that leg. So I gotta get my foot on the ground. The top of my foot on the ground, then my knee, and then I'll be secure. So that's what I'm doing, and what you can't see right now. Securing that he can't do it. So all right, I defended the knee bar. I grab his lapel. I weave my arm. Start working my foot out, and I'm going to go right into an arm move pass right here. So I'm tripoding my head on him. Walk around, and now watch my right hand as it sneaks up into a, a more and more of a cross face. As I get the cross face, it's gonna make his life more and more miserable. All right, here it sneaks up. Sneaking, sneaking, sneaking. Oh, it's not good now. Okay, so I cross face, start taking, he, he turns, I take his back. So now I got dominant position. I try to pride myself in that I can keep dominant positions pretty well once I get them. And just kind of cycle between mounts and backs so, so I get something. Um, so this is pretty secure for me. Okay, halfway through the round, I'm trying to submit him. I don't have a great grip though. I'm trying to give it hell though because if I submit him, it'll be three minutes. I don't got to fight. So, and this is a big tournament. Big tournaments, you want to get submissions because that's just more time. You're chilling, drinking Gatorade, than everybody else is having a war. I'd rather, I'd rather spend less energy and be fresh for the next round, so... Um, but I didn't get the choke. I had a bad grip. I had like a handbag grip, not a handful of collar or anything, so... So I'm trying to just keep him here. This guy really didn't want to tap. He really um, had some good heart. Okay, he's trying to get on top here, but I have his leg so I can pull him back down. And I go to mount instead. I threaten an Ezekiel right away. To, make, to, to just bring his hands up so I can get them out, really. But it felt like I could get the Ezekiel, so I, I was really trying here. You can see I'm a little a little frustrated that I can't finish the Ezekiel. There's like hands in there. And I have kind of weak hands for, for Jiu-Jitsu guys, so I, I don't know. I just couldn't finish this one. But I still want to wear on him, so I'm just keeping my hand in his face, over his mouth a little bit, kind of shoving his hand in his mouth. Again, I can be a bad person sometimes during tournaments. I just, uh, yeah, sorry. Put him back down with face pressure there. My bad. Sorry, dude. Um, so, yeah, going to, 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 to an S-mount now. I'm just trying to survive. I got him almost pancaked here. Almost a back mount. It's not a back mount, though. It's, it's close to a back mount. Anyway, I start to do the asshole lapel in the face again. Sorry. Sorry, I'll, I'll make it up karmically some other way. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. And then take his back here. Now, again, with I, I have pretty good ability to keep dominant positions. What I end up doing here is like a half mount, half back. But my left knee is like in his chest. And I don't know if anybody noticed, but this guy actually had a KT tape on his uh, on his side. So I think he had a previous injury. And he tries to turn into me here, and I just squeeze really hard with my knees, and he ends up tapping to that. So. Um, I was starting to choke him, but uh, he he tapped because of the, the rib, and I, that's not that wasn't my intention to to, to, to tap him with a rib. So I, I did feel a little bad in the moment, but it happened. Okay, so that was um that was that was a five minute and a half match, my longest match. This is the semi now. A guy from AOJ, I pull guard. He sat down, so I just came on top. 
he he I think was pretty tired. I think he had a war in his quarterfinal. So and I'm I'm pretty fresh. I've been on the mat now for about I don't know eight minutes, nine minutes, something like that. So not a whole lot of time for me on the mat. So I'm pretty fresh. This guy's got an X guard right now. I'm curling my left leg back so he can't get it on his shoulder. If I got that uncurled, he could maybe sneak through my legs. So I'm curling both my legs back, trying to cross my toes. I use my toes here to, to, to weave on the other side of his leg guard, or his X guard. Leg guard. <laughs> okay, so here I flip my foot back, and then it collapses it, basically. Okay, so I get up. It's an open guard. He doesn't have grip, so I just immediately go. He turns his back. I jump through and grab his back. Almost. I grab up a gift wrap right here, as the ref says, Perot. Um, I'll be honest, it was pretty marginal timing of the gift wrap. Like, I pretty much, like, grabbed it right when the ref said Perot. But the guy didn't argue, so I guess it's okay. All right, I, he rolls, he rolls. I grab a tech mount. But I'm not getting the... He didn't give me the tech mount points yet. Because I guess he's claiming I'm still... The ref is thinking I'm still on the back. And my coach is yelling, technical mount, technical mount. Mount the Technica. But yeah, so I just pull the guy flat to prove, really, I got a mount, dude. And I only held it for like one second. The guy turns his back again. I grab the back. I grab a collar. Start sent up a bow and arrow. A little bit of a different bow and arrow here. Ah. Yeah. All right, so that was the semi. Um... And I remember walking off the mat here realizing I was like dry. I'm a pretty like naturally sweaty person and I was like dry. I was like, all right, I don't care who's in the final. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take it to him, you know? I'm, I'm, I got all my energy. So I pulled guard. It was, it was kind of an illegal guard pull, but they he, he engaged so that I didn't get a penalty. So still clean, clean sheet. Okay, I got a dog fight. I'm sitting up. He kind of uchis me back to the ground. It's an unrewarded. Putting me back down, though, because I was on bottom to begin. So it was his job to put me back down. So if I get on top here for a moment, he puts me back. That's just his, his obligation to himself is to keep me down. So that's how it works. Okay. I got kind of a higher underhook than I'd like, and he's wrap, he's, he's wrapping a wizard back on me. Oh, he's almost got his leg out. I have just his foot. He's kicking. He's kicking. He's got a pretty strong whizzer. And I can just barely reach to his belt. And I'm kind of pulling his, leg, his, his belt around him. Jim's and keeping it secure. Mom knows. That's my mom. Hey, Mom. And, uh, yeah, I'm still holding that. So technically, because this is, I still have, I still have some control. They're not going to give him an advantage for a pass or anything yet because I still have his foot. I still have that belt. I try to do a straight knee bar here with my hips and try to use get on top, but I couldn't. Almost get on top. Uh, Uchi's knee back down. I still have that belt though, so secure that I was going to stick on this move and try to get this move working for me. Um, pretty much I figure if you have grips in your hands, try, try, try to use those grips. So I'm up to my base. And uh, see, my wrestling ain't that great. I, I should have been able to like double him here, but... Up, up again, up again. He jumps around. I'm getting closer though. I'm getting closer each time. I should have been able to double him here too, but I just pull, I just kind of pull his knees together and just end up grabbing a closed guard. All right, we got a timeout. Like I said, I had a lot of energy. So I, I had the, the wherewithal to, to, to sit here where I, I, I intentionally turned his back to his coach here. That's his coach. It's a Carlson Jr. there. Um, so I intentionally got his back to his coach just because I was being a shit. All right, he stood up there. And his knees were a little awkward, I thought. So if this guy likes to stand up and pass like that, I'm gonna let him. So I kind of, I'm kind of faking right here 
to wait for him to stand again. And then I lock a mermaid sweep on him. His knees stuck together. I made, I made a mermaid of him. All right, so I sneak my foot under. And using that foot there, you can kind of kick their foot up and off balance them even more. So I have underhooks, the neeps pinched, and the foot hooked. I can start sneaking to the back or go to the moat. Sneak to the back, go to the moat. This is, I, 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 I'm pretty secure in this position here. He's doing, he's doing an okay job staying on top though for now. Almost there, almost there, almost there. Okay, so I got on top, but I don't have a mount yet. I'm kind of high on the mount. I just slide down into the mount. So, I'm on top, but he bucks me off. So, they give me two because I had, I got on top, but I didn't secure the mount for three seconds. Okay, so when we ended up, I had an overhook there. If, if you noticed, I had an overhook. So overhook, I might play an omoplata, a high guard, something like that. I'll work with it. That's the grip I got. I'll work with it. But then he puts his hands on my arms. And I'm like, hey. But then I'm like, wait, he's just going to jump up again. So, fine. Let, let him put his hands in different places. He jumps up again. And he's too close, like he likes to do. And I jump back for another mermaid. Mermaid is one of my best moves. I'll, I'll take it. And this time I go quicker. I, I trip his feet. And right here you can't see it too well, but I have my head like right in his throat. So while he's like not really fighting with his guard, he's not really fighting with his guard yet because he's getting his chin sprawled back with my head right here. And then I can just kind of casually take him out. So that's six points. I have eight points now. Go to S mount. So minute and a half left. I could I could probably just stall out this match here. That's that's the goal. Keep the dominant positions like I claim to be good at and just, you know. Transmissions a little, and I'll ride out. Minute and a half. That's the that's the plan. Ride it out. Don't, don't try anything fancy. I'm trying to fancy stuff a little. I'm trying to grab his hand with my foot there. I think. Just keep the back, and we're good. We'll cruise. We'll cruise to the end. That's the that's the plan. So. Okay, I'm trying to do that half mount, half uh, back on him a little bit. Because that can be a miserable position for somebody. I could stall there. Most of the time I could stall there. So so I got my knees across his chest. And I expect him to turn into me. He turned in, then away. Which is actually kind of a good strategy to, to, to undo it. And I, I fell off the back. And I have just his foot, he stands up, we're kind of out of bounds, our belts are falling off, he says time. This is Perot. 30 seconds on the clock. I'm winning by 12 to 0. And now, some man yells to me, he goes, don't let him grab your hands. Because if you, because if you, uh, grab his hands. Because if you have his hands, at least one, he shouldn't be able to do an easy toe hold on your hands. So grab his hands, and that and that should be the strategy here. I'm wrapped up on his foot, and he was kind of loose to end above me in an open guard. Thirty seconds. It's just a lunch to meet you. Get get his hands, and then they say go, and I just space and didn't grab his hands. I'm just kind of sitting there. He starts grabbing my feet, exactly what I didn't want. I come on top. I get two more. He's grabbing my foot here, but then I return. A toe hold. And actually his leg like popped and rattled and he yelled. And that's why I let go. So there's a little controversy here because he's like, I didn't tap, but I I let go because his leg popped. And he's he's able to squat here. But I think he did indeed get a little hurt from the, the move. So um, the ref knows you yell in a submission. That's a, that's a tap. So there we go. Master Worlds. Five wins. Thank you, Mom and Dad. All right. Oof, thank you for watching. Thank you.